so I will start with you, Andrew. Andrew, you are uh, uh, a researcher at uh, OECD in particular. Uh, you've been publishing a lot of um, publications on the um, material and how that correlates to uh, environmental impact and climate change. So, uh, can, with a, in particular a focus on waste, can you tell us more about that? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, first, I'd like to say thank you to Song Nim and the organizers at the World Policy Conference. It's uh, an absolute honor to be here today. Uh, so yes, I think that at the OECD, we are taking a look at this interaction between the environment and economic systems. And at the core of this interaction is this sort of paradox that when we look at our economic systems, we begin to see economies of scale, that with each additional input, we see an improvement in our ability to produce. But when we consider our natural resource use, we see the exact opposite, diminishing marginal returns. And so the question becomes, how do these two relationships work with one another? And how can we find a new economic system to break free from this paradox? Uh, so at the OECD, we have done a number of studies. Uh, in particular, you can see on the right here, this is some of our work regarding um, global materials outlook. Uh, so this is taking a look at macroeconomic models and seeing what do we anticipate happening in 2060 around materials use. And so we notice uh, doubling in total in terms of weight of material use in 2060 compared to 2011. Uh, we noticed that uh, materials will constitute roughly one-fifth of greenhouse gas emissions in 2060. This is often when we account for demographic change and when we account for the structural changes to the economy that we anticipate, that uh, this is not going to be uniform across the economic sectors. We anticipate construction being particularly well impacted in terms of material use, which we'll hear more about later in terms of uh, concrete. And uh, we also notice the uh, increase in fossil fuel use. And so this is a question about material use that has been around and has uh, preoccupied economists for a long period of time. I think we, uh, 200 years ago, it was uh, Tourgeot from France who noticed this diminishing marginal returns when applied to agriculture. Uh, when we talk 100 years ago, uh, it was an analyst at the United States Geological Survey who mentioned that we might be facing peak oil within the next three years. This was 100 years ago. 50 years ago, you mentioned, Lucia, the Club of Rome. Uh, and I think in the last 50 years, there's a bit more nuance around resource use. It's the fear has sort of developed away from a fear of exhaustion of resources into more looking at the impacts of our use of natural resources. Uh, and so when we think about these impacts, one way of thinking of this could be the planetary boundaries at the Stockholm uh, Resilience Institute and noticing biodiversity and biochemical flows, that these are areas that we've already gone be beyond what we would expect from our economic system. And we look at what's next, it's possibly land use, it's climate change. So these are big problems facing our economic system and how we use our natural resources. And when we think about what could possibly be the solution, I think one area that the OECD is very interested in is in circular economy. So this is on the left side of the screen here. You can see what we mean by circular economy. We break it down into three particular parts. We think about efficiency. How can we use natural resources more efficiently, get more economic productivity out of a certain amount of resource use? How can we slow our resource use, meaning how can we use and keep products at the highest value possible for the longest period of time possible? And then we also want to close our economic systems. We want to address the leakage of our products into the environment and the impacts that they have. Uh, so we can talk a bit more with the next slide here about applying this to one particular uh, material use, which is plastics. So I'll just wait for the next slide to appear. Can I move? But uh, essentially, we've, we've done a similar project around global materials outlook. We've done a similar one just recently with plastics use globally. Uh, so this was, uh, when we take a look at plastics, these are a ubiquitous material in modern economies. But we see this more so in the OECD countries, but uh, we anticipate growth in the use per capita in the non-OECD countries between now and 2060. So on the right side, you can see that we've estimated 
in 2019 that the economic system produced 460 million tons of plastics. Uh, that when we talk about why this is an issue, of that 460 uh, million tons, 350 roughly became waste in 2019. And when we consider how this growth, we also notice a growth in what is leaking to the environment. So in 2019, we estimated that roughly 22 million tons of plastics leaked into the environment. And when you compare that with what was recycled, we, we estimated that 9% of total plastics uh, waste was recycled in 2019. So this is a major problem facing us. And just last week, we had the first meeting of the Intergovernmental Negotiating Committee, taking a look at a binding commitment regarding plastics, uh, which was agreed upon through the United Nations Environment Assembly. So I think this is my first intervention to describe the issues, and I look forward to describing policy solutions in the second intervention. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew.